guys, it's Breeze. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to be doing the every full face using only eyeshadow challenge. <laughs> so basically what it is, is you're just doing a full face of makeup only using eyeshadow. So it's foundation, concealer, contouring, blush. So yeah guys, if you want to see this challenge, then let's get started. It's like a hot mess because my hair, I don't feel like washing it until tomorrow because that's when I go out tomorrow. So my hair is just going to stay in this crazy looking bun and we're going to pretend like my hair doesn't look bad. So I literally laid out every single eyeshadow palette I have on my vanity and I don't know what to do. Like... I don't know if I have an eyeshadow that's honestly going to cover my freckles because I love full coverage everything and I don't know how these eyeshadows are going to work so let's see. I was thinking of taking some of Max rice paper and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it and I'm just going to take the Lorac Gold palette and I was going to use the color Undressed because this is a matte and this one's a little bit of a shimmer but I think I feel like these two will like sort of be the color of my skin. Let's see. I'm going to take this brush and it's an angled one. I'm going to take some of the undressed. Really press that in there. That looks like the color of my skin now. Taking some of rice paper and let's see. Okay. This seems like it's going to be me. Let's see. I'm going to have to use a lot of this eyeshadow because I'm gonna have to cover each and every single freckle. I feel like I'm gonna look like a ghost after this. And I guess being that I'm not gonna be able to cover my freckles completely, I guess I'm gonna go with a light coverage. Rice paper is basically giving my skin like that glow. So I kinda like that and then the eyeshadow is kinda just giving my skin more coverage. I'm going to take this Matt Smith from Meat Matte Palette. And this is called Matt Smith. I don't really feel like it's doing anything though. <laughs> I'm going to place this over my lids too for my eyeshadows. Okay, and I guess since we're using all eyeshadows, we don't really need to set anything. So I feel like going for a neutral look on the eyes because basically, you know, you use eyeshadow already for your eyes. So I'm going to do something super simple. Um, I'm first going to start off with my Kiko Cosmetics number 204 eyeshadow. I broke it earlier today when I was trying to deposit them from here to my Z palette so this one just shattered and I just basically left it in its tube so there goes that um so I really like this as a transition shade though because it's just the perfect um shade so I'm gonna place this all over my lid I'm just gonna blend it I'm gonna pick up this max no glow palette and I'm going to use I'm going to actually use this as a lipstick. I'm going to save this. I'm going to pick up this color right here. And this is the shade... This color, I believe, is the shade Below Zero. Or... Yes, this is the shade color Below Zero. So I'm going to play the, place this all over my lid with my finger. This MAC Snow Glow palette is a limited edition palette that came out a few years ago, but I'm sure you can still pick up um, the eyeshadows individually. I am now going to go in with a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to pick up this brown shade right here, and I'm just going to focus this on the outer V. It's gonna be really hard to like clean up. Let's see, should I throw on lashes, guys? To throw on lashes or not to throw on lashes? That's the question. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with 
this original color right here and I'm just gonna retouch up on the inner part of my eyes just so that it transitions nicely and now taking a clean blending brush I'm just gonna blend those two colors in together next I'm gonna pick up um, again the color undressed it's the same color I used for my foundation and on a clean brush I'm just going to highlight that brow bone I like using a matte highlight when I use a shimmery color on the lids because I don't want to like overpower my brow bone with my eyelid because then it's like too much shimmer and it kind of cancels each other out. I'm going to use the Eyes on the 70s palette. I'm going to take this deep purple right here and I'm going to run this underneath my lower lash line just for like a pop of color so I'm going to add mascara and I will be right back I decided to throw on some little fake lashes but honestly I feel like these lashes don't really do anything for me only because my natural lashes are so long so it's like they kind of just go right through but um, they added just a little bit of definition these are the kiss lashes in beyond natural in 03 I like how I read that like do you see that instead of just turning it around they read it like this <laughs> cheat a little bit and add a little bit of black in the waterline so forgive me guys I'm gonna use the Kiko eyeliner in um, 500 this is a glossy black eyeliner so I'm just cheating just a tiny bit I cannot not not do makeup and not have black eyeliner like it just doesn't work for me like there's some girls who just can't do wing liner I'm one of those girls that just cannot have black eyeliner in their waterline it just it just completes me Contouring, I decided to go with the Eyes on the 70s palette, same palette that I used for my purple underneath my lash line. And um, throughout all my palettes, I noticed that this is the only one, like the brown, that's like an ashy brown and it has like no shimmer in it whatsoever. So I'm going to pick some of that up. And this is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's like the perfect dome shaped, so you can really contour the hollows of your cheeks. Plus, I need lots and lots and lots of, like, bronze because this eyeshadow makes me look super white. And I feel like it gives off more of a pink undertone. So, I'm going to contour my cheekbones after I change this off. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, let's pick up a little more. Tap off that excess. Okay, I'm starting to see a little bit. And that's a super harsh line. <laughs> when I was watching this um, challenge, all these other girls made it look so easy. Like, this is not easy using eyeshadow. I think it's like 10 times more challenging for me personally because of my freckles. Like, I need everything full coverage and the fact that I have like no bare canvas I guess is what I call it um nothing to conceal my freckles it makes this challenge like 10 times more harder but I'm not going to give up okay that looks super harsh on camera but in person it doesn't so I'm just gonna keep going I'm going for the joker look today I cleaned every single makeup brush yesterday that I own and it's like I've been using makeup brushes I've never used before and it's like whoa like who knew I had so many makeup brushes last night I swear to you I was standing at my sink for like two hours just cleaning and cleaning and playing Pokemon and cleaning more brushes and then I went online at 11 o'clock at night and bought a whole bunch of brushes off of Morphe and BH Cosmetics <laughs> Alright, I'm going for that chin shaved fake surgery. Get rid of my fortunes. Go back in with my original brush that I used for my foundation and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Clean up under it. I have the Eyes on the 60s palette from BH Cosmetics and it has like these pretty pink shades here. So let's use that. 
I'm taking a MAC 129 brush. I'm going to dip into all three of those pinks. And I'm going to pop this on my cheekbones. Yeah, it's actually working. I'm kind of just running my brush. There we go. There's some color. Okay, so for highlight, I have the perfect highlight because I actually did go to Kiko. And when I seen this eyeshadow, I was like... That's a perfect highlight shade. And I've used it in a Snapchat video and you guys were all like, what highlight is that? And I was like, uh-uh, it's an eyeshadow and it's only six bucks. It's the Kiko eyeshadow in 139 and it is beautiful. Um, it's like a shimmery orange color. It's so gorge. It's like the perfect highlight. So I'm going to use that. I actually have this little tiny like nail art brush and I'm going to use this because I feel like this is gonna work perfectly. Oh yes. Give me life. Give me life. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like gods from above. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? I want a lot of lot of highlight today. So I'm just gonna go crazy. What I'm gonna do with the lips is I'm gonna use a cream eyeshadow as the lip liner because I feel like that will really help um, to outline. So I'm picking up this Stila glitter eyeshadow in the color Petto. It's just like a pink. Um, I'm going to go back in with my MAC Snow Globe and I'm picking up the color Expensive Pink. Um, and I'm going to place this all over my lip. I feel like this kind of looks like um, that color here from Kylie Cosmetics. And I wanted to get those eyeshadow, that um, lip gloss, but I heard so many negative reviews that her metals like come half empty. And I don't feel like paying $23 for something that's going to be a half empty. And that's like including shipping. I made my own lipstick. I'm going to call it, I'm gonna call it Steal Your Man. I trademarked that, so don't try to steal it, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my finger and just dab this. I like how this gives off like a really pretty gold like reflex. That kind of yeah completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys like it. This is the final result of using all eyeshadows. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> um, the only thing I kind of don't hate is the lips. I'm actually pretty impressed with this eyeshadow. It really does look like that, that um here lip gloss from Kylie Cosmetics like. That gold. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's zoom in. Yeah, I'm really digging this lip color. Like, mm, mm. I'm gonna call this Steal Your Man. Okay, guys, so this completes the final result. I hope you guys like this full face challenge only using eyeshadows. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you love it or let me know if you just like it. I kind of like this lip color. I'm really digging it. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you all in the next video. And don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you want to see, guys. I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.